So I've had a couple of people request this one now and luckily I know how to play it already because I wrote it and it starts like this. <laughs> So, as you can see, it's all tremolo picked. So we've got seven, of, well, just a power chord here on the seventh fret of the bottom string. And then we're gonna play 10 of the A. And then down to power chord on three, and then up to seven on the A. Back down to five, and then to four. This bit's the same. Then we have 10 on the bottom string, 9 of the A. Then we're going to play this power chord here, but it's with the middle finger and the little finger, on 10. So then we have 9 of the bottom string, 7 of the A. So let's play up to there. The second half starts the same way. Then we have five of the, <coughs> excuse me, five of the bottom string, nine of the A, seven of the A, this one just stays where it is, and then four of the A. So that second half, one more time. So that's the opening riff. Both guitars play that. Second riff, and again, this is played by both guitars. So we've got the open string ringing out on the A. Te uh, 11 of the D. Then we got this, so 9 of the A, 12 of the D. Then a power chord on the 10th fret of the A, uh, A. Then 10 of the A, 11 of the D, and then 9 of the D. This one stays where it is. So. so we're playing a power chord on the second fret of the A. Then you're going to bring the middle finger up to the fourth fret of the A. Keep this one where it is. And then open A and keep this one where it is. So slowly. Then we're back into the opening riff. back into the second riff. So up until this point, both guitars both play the same thing. 
and then they split off for this next riff. So guitar one plays this. So again, it's all tremolo picked. Power chord on the second fret of the bottom string. And then five of the A to four of the A. Onto the D, four, two, and then five of the A. So. Back to the second fret of the bottom string, power chord. And then on the A again, five, four, five of the bottom string, four, five of the A. So slowly. So the other guitar is playing an octave above, so it's playing a power chord here, on the fourth fret of the D. Now for the first half of this riff, it then just opens up and plays the open D and this sixth fret. Okay, so playing it at normal speed. And the second half, it plays open D and then seven of the D. So if I play that whole riff. That is the two guitar parts. One second, I'm just gonna have a bit of my tea. In my special cow cup. So then we're back into the opening riff, but it is there's a slight variation in terms of the last part of it with the timing, and I'll show you. So the first part of it is the same. On the first time round with this, it plays. But this one, we delay the second chord. So one, two, three, four, one. And whereas the first one is one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. This is one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, and that is. Um, the same all the way through. Then we've got the final riff. So again, tremolo picked a four on the D to two of the A, five of the D to two of the A, and then on the bottom string. 3, 2, and then on the A, 5, 4. And it ends just with the... That chord, which is just an inverted power chord, two of the bottom string, two of the A, four of the D. The second guitar is playing something completely different. This is the second guitar riff. So 
So it's uh, two, no, it's not two, it's nine of the A and the D, 11 of the G. And that's tremolo picked. Then I'm going to take this middle finger off here. I'm putting the middle finger here onto the 10 of the A. So we, and I'm still picking these three strings, so A, D and G. So we've got 10, 9 and 9. And then I'm playing. So with the little finger, 12 of the G, then 11 of the G and then 9 of the G because I'm playing here. So slowly. And then at the end of that, we're just going to play that chord there, which is the same one that we play throughout that riff. And that is how you play The Darkness Witnesses Everything.